Okay, in this video, we're going to look at my own personal one rail kicking system. And uh, I've looked at a lot of other kicking systems. I've, I've seen the Tor Lowry kicking system, and I've seen the Jimmy Reed kicking system. Uh, and this is my system. I just find it easier to use, easier to calculate, especially during a match. And uh, to put it simply, what I do is, is I count diamonds and that rail's always double what this one is. So for example here, if this ball is in the corner and I want to kick it in, let's say my cue ball is up here, I make this point zero. So this is zero, one, two, three, four. Okay. And so if this is one, two, three, four, then on this end, it's two, four, six, eight. So if I'm at four here, what I try to do is I try to equal this side with that side. And that whenever those two sides are equal, if this set of numbers is twice what this set of numbers is, that puts me at exactly half the distance or same angle in equals angle out. So uh, let's try this here. Again, the cue ball's at one, two, three, four. On this end, it would be zero, two, four, six, eight. If the cue ball's at four, I've got to shoot through four to get the zero. So here we go. No English, medium of speed. There it is right on the money. So you might ask the question, well, you know, maybe it's not in the corner pocket. Maybe I want to hit and make this combination here. Say my cue ball's up here. Again, I'm gonna count the diamonds. This first one's always zero. So zero, one, two, three, four. Okay, so my cue ball's at four. And uh, if this is one, then this is two, four, six, eight, ten. So again, zero, one, two, three, four. So uh, I've got to make my four here equal to that four. So if I shoot through the diamond here, see that's right on the money to pocket that ball there. So let's look at a situation here where I've got to kick and try to hit this combination in, try to kick it in the pocket. Right here would be my zero. If I'm going into it, this is going to be my zero, this diamond right here, because it's kind of, it's going into this diamond. So this is zero, one, two, three. Okay. So I've got to kick and hit roughly close to three, because that's where I'm at. And if this is one, and this is two, this is four, this is my three right here, if that makes sense. So if I kick and hit, right there I'll kick and I'll make the combination what if it's right here I'm wanting to kick and then try to hit the uh, the 15 well you know again uh, this is my zero one two so I've got to make this side equal to, so if this is zero, uh, if this is zero here and zero over there, if this is one over here, and this is uh, two over here. So if it's, if it's uh, one here, then it's two over there. So I've got to kick and hit right through 
my two there. You can see that's dead on that to kick and to make that combination. So uh, no matter where that I'm at, I've just got to figure out which diamond it's coming into. You know, even if it's uh, up here out in the middle of the table right here. I'm going to know that this is my zero, this is my one, this is my two. So I, 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 I've got to be right at uh, uh, two because my cue ball is, is pretty much right in here. So zero, one, two. So I've got to make this side equal to two. If uh, this is uh, one right here, and that's two over there. So I should be able to kick right at that spot there and make my combination. And the same uh, principle applies uh, on the, uh, the length of the table. You know, this is going across the width of the table, but the length of the table, the, the same system applies. Say for example here, I've got a, uh, a combo right here. And so uh, I've got to figure out where I need to hit at. I mean, you could probably measure this on your own without having to go through a lot of that. But uh, if you're wanting to calculate it, this is zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, six and a half roughly. So, uh, six and a half is where that my cue ball is coming from. So if this corner over here is worth one, two, three, then this corner is worth six. And then uh, this would be eight. This is seven. This is six and a half right here. So if I aim right through there, no spin, kick and I'll make my combination. But you can see how simple that it is. Uh, the only thing that you have to do is you gotta make this rail work twice as much as this one. And you should be able to kick balls in from all over just by counting the diamonds around and then making my cue ball number equal to this rail number because this one is double the value of this rail. Okay, now we're gonna talk about the width of the table system. And uh, as we're looking at the width of the table system here, I've, I've got a situation that's set up here. And this situation is uh, simply just kicking at a ball that's along the side rail to make a combination. Well, essentially what you can do here is this right here is your zero point. This diamond here, because you're going into the diamond, is really, uh, roughly right in here is going to be your, your zero point there. So zero, one, two, three, four, roughly, roughly four if I want make it match up there. Well, anyway, uh, if this is one, two, then that's two, four, because it's double. So I should be able to kick pretty much right through that diamond there. Make my combination there. Say so this is at zero, one, two, three. I've got to make this end of the table equal to three. So if this is one, that's two up there. If this is two, that's four up there. So if my cue ball is coming out of three, I have to shoot between two and four. My three would be roughly right in there. To kick and make a hit on this ball. I hit it 
right dead full in the face. I didn't make an adjustment and you can see how accurate the system really is. I played to hit it full in the face and, and that's what I did. You know, if I, if I wanted to come in from that, I'd have to make just a small adjustment, but this system is so accurate and uh, play around with it. I hope you enjoy it. It's just, uh, it's simple math or simple algebra. You just gotta make this side of the table equal that side of the table. And so if you're at two down here, you've got to shoot at two up there, but the values are always twice on that end of the table uh, as compared to this end of the table. So uh, practice this guys and I hope it improves your pool game.